Welcome to another session of Sam's Economics Tutorials and in this video I'm going to teach you how to draw a demand schedule from a demand function. Okay, let's see, given an individual or demand function your d equal to 12 minus p, construct a market demand schedule for a price range of 1 plus CFA to 5 francs CFA given that there are 100 buyers every week. We are to construct a market demand schedule for a price range of 1 francs CFA to 5 francs CFA given this uh, demand function QD equal to 12 minus P and that there are 100 buyers every week. To get the market demand function we have to multiply the total number of buyers by the individual demand function so we are going to have 100 into 12 minus p to open this bracket we multiply each of our variable so we are going to have uh, 12 times 100 we are going to have 1200 100 multiplied by p we are going to have a minus p minus 100 p so that's the market demand function so they say we should construct for a that we should construct a market uh, demand schedule for a price range of one france cfa to five france cfa so we are going to substitute that in the uh, market demand function now. Remember, this is a new uh, market demand function. So we are going to start by this. We are going to have a, when price is one, we are going to have a quantity demanded to be, let's say, QG equal to minus 100 into 1 1 from CFA we are starting with 1 from CFA so we have 1200 minus 100 because 100 times 1 we is 100 so we are going to have 1100 that's for the quantity for a price level of 1 from CFA quantity demanded is 1100 so we for the next stage when price increases to 2 at the price level of 2 plus CFA we are going to have this 2 into 2 times 100 thus it gives us 200 so 1200 minus uh, 200 we are going to have 1000 as quantity demanded so when price increases to 3 francs CFA we are going to have 1200 minus 100 into 3 francs CFA so that gives us uh, 100 times 3 gives us 300 1200 minus 300 gives us 900 as quantity demanded as quantity demanded so at the price level of 4 francs CFA we are going to have 1200 minus 100 into 4 so when we multiply 100 by 4 we are going to have 400 so 1200 minus uh, 400 we are going to have 800 so the last price level of 5 from CFA are going to have 1200 minus 100 into 5 from CFA so when we multiply 100 by 5 we are going to get 500 so 1200 minus 500 we are going to have 700 uh, units of quantity demanded so let's see this when we observe this we now see that 
This follows the law of demand that states that when uh, price increases, quantity demanded uh, falls. You can see as price is increasing from one fancy FA to two uh, fancy FA, quantity demanded falls, falls from 1,100 to 1,000. As price increases from two fancy FA to three fancy FA, quantity demanded falls from 1,000 to uh, 900. And when price increases from three pounds to four pounds, the quantity demanded falls from the quantity demanded falls from 900 units to 800 units. And you can see that as the price is increasing, the quantity demanded is falling. So let's draw the demand uh, schedule. Let's see price. Let's say price, and we have uh, FCFA. And we have quantity demanded. Quantity demanded. So when uh, at the, let's just we are just going to use uh, this to draw the demand schedule. So at the price level of one pound CFA, we are going to have quantity demanded as one thousand one hundred units. At the price level of uh, two pound CFA, we are going to have quantity demanded as one thousand. So. At the price level of three pounds CFA, we are going to have nine hundred units as quantity demanded. At the price level of four pounds CFA, we are going to have uh, eight hundred as quantity demanded, eight hundred units as quantity demanded. For a price level of five pounds CFA, we are going to have quantity demanded. As 700 units and so this is presented on the demand uh, schedule as 700 units at 5 pounds CFA so this is it for today and I thank you all uh, try to subscribe to my channel click on the notification bell to get most of my videos and understand the uh, demand functions so that when we get to solving questions on consumer surplus and producer surplus it will be easier for you and you understand it better